वेलकम टू एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लर्न अबाउट द स्टेट ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी ऑन द ईव ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस एंड द पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ब्रिटिश रूल स्टेट ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी ऑन द ईव ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश रूल द ब्रिटिशर्स ट्रांसफॉर्म द इंडियन इकोनॉमी इनटू अ कॉलोनियल बैकवर्ड सेमी फ्यूडल स्टैग्नेंट बैकवर्ड डिप्लीटेड एंड amputated economy we will discuss all these points one by one first we come to colonial economy in india colonial exploitation is a long history spread over nearly 200 years british rule resulted in huge drain of wealth from india in order to facilitate growing british industry with the supply of raw materials from india they also encouraged commercialization of indian agriculture to transform indian economy into a british colony the impact of the british colonial policy was deep on india even at the time of independence second point is semi feudal economy by the close of the british period there were two aspects of the indian economy first is introduction of feudal system the land settlement system gave birth to feudal relations landlord tenant relations the landlord used to charge very high rate of lagan and were very cruel to the cultivators second aspect is introduction of capitalist system the establishment of modern industries led to creation of two classes capitalist and laborers so india inherited the features of both feudal and capitalist system in the indian economy third point stagnant economy a stagnant economy is one which is growing at a very low rate on the eve of independence indian economy was a stagnant economy as country's growth of aggregate real output during the first half of 20th century was less than 2% and growth in per capita output was only 0.5% fourth point backward economy at the end of british rule indian economy was backward and underdeveloped the main reason for the backwardness of indian economy were low level of productivity low per capita income traditional method of agriculture high birth and death rate mass illiteracy now we come to the fifth point that is depleted or depreciated economy at the time of independence Indian economy was a depleted economy depleted economy refers to an economy where no arrangements have been made to replace the physical assets depreciated due to excessive use during the second world war indian industry had to work beyond their capacities to meet the increased demand of plant machinery equipments etc for the war however British rulers did not make any arrangements to replace the depreciated physical assets as a result british rulers had left a seriously depleted economy and the last point is amputated economy the britishers policy of divide and rule always promoted discrimination between various groups on the basis of religion caste language and culture as a result on the eve of independence country was geographically divided into two parts india and pakistan partition of the country virtually disrupted the economy due to problem of rehabilitation of large number of refugees from pakistan and shortage of raw material for jute and cotton mills as most of the cotton and jute growing areas went to pakistan so This was the state of Indian economy on the eve of independence. Now let us go through some of the positive contributions of British rule. British rule also had some positive effects on the Indian economy. They are as follows. First is self sufficiency in food grains production. Commercialization of agriculture initiated by British government resulted in self sufficiency in food grain production. second is better means of transportation development of roads and railways provided cheap and rapid transport system 
and opened up new opportunities of economic and social growth. Third point, check on famines. Roads and railways worked as a great check on the occurrence and impact of famines as food supplies could be transported to the affected areas in case of droughts. Fourth point, shift to monetary economy. British rule helped Indian economy to shift from barter system of exchange, that is exchange of goods for goods, to monetary system of exchange. And the last positive contribution is effective administrative setup. The British government had an efficient administrative system which served as a ready reckoner for Indian politicians. British rule, systematic exploitation of India. The various forms of exploitation by the Britishers on the Indian economy can be broadly analyzed with the following points. First is, India remained an agricultural country throughout the British period and its agricultural sector remained totally backward. There was a commercialization of agriculture to serve the interest of Great Britain. Next point, British rulers never tried to modernize the prevailing industrial structure of India. There was large-scale destruction of world-famous handicrafts and cottage industries of the country. Third point, by following the policy of discriminating protections, Britishers gained complete control over the entire Indian market. British rulers gradually transformed the Indian economy into a primary producing country, exporting only agricultural products and raw materials necessary for industries in Britain and importing finished goods from Britain. Next point, to promote foreign trade and to exploit natural resources of India to their advantage. British rulers built up economic infrastructure which includes roads and railway network, ports and shipping, irrigation and electricity etc. The last point is the British rulers thoroughly exploited the Indian economy through economic drain. The aforesaid nature of exploitative policies of the British rulers resulted in large-scale poverty, stagnation and backwardness of the Indian economy along with a huge drain of economic resources of the country to Great Britain. Now we come to the conclusion of this chapter. By the time India won its independence in 1947, the impact of 200 years of British colonial rule was already showing on all aspects of the Indian economy. Following points are the clear proofs of economic underdevelopment during the British period. The constant per capita income over a long period, increasing dependence of population on agriculture, the zamindari system, traditional methods of cultivation, high frequency of famines, destruction of Indian handicrafts and inadequate industrialization. The hostile policy of British government led to the complete ruin of the Indian economy. With this, we come to the end of this chapter. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.